Hello again, Aaron Warner down here with Good News Training at Anytime Fitness in West Lebanon. And we're wrapping up our Women in Barbell Training series. And so we've gone through warming up and doing the different lifts. And so now I just wanted to ask the ladies that we've been working with here, Christina and Melissa, a few questions just to address some of the concerns uh, that were brought up in that article that we have on Anytime Fitness Facebook page. And just common concerns that we hear with women in barbell training. Uh, and so the first myth, I guess, is the myth that if you lift uh, weights with barbells, you're going to get big and muscle bound. So I just ask you, Christina, what has your experience been with lifting heavy weights with barbells? Have you gotten big and muscle bound? Are you bursting out of your clothes? Well, I, like I said, I have had some tight shirts that kind of ripped up the seams, but that's about it. And I've been doing this for two years now. So I guess the answer there is be careful how many tight shirts you buy. But in general, you're not getting huge and muscle bound. Right. You're, you're still able to move. You're not finding it difficult to move your body around. Oh, no, not at all. Okay. In fact, it's a lot easier. And then how about yourself? Have you noticed that you're busting out of your clothes? No, just definition and leanness. And so your clothes still fit you just fine? Yes. And you're not growing a beard? No. no. Okay, that's good. Those are two positive things. Um, another one that's brought up is can you lose weight and do barbell training at the same time? Yes, you can. It's not the most effective way to lose weight. Uh, there are many ways to do it. But you can incorporate uh, barbell training into your weight loss program. And one of the cool ways to maintain your weight is to keep muscle on your body to keep your metabolism going and so that's an effective way to do that lifting weights with barbells will help you to do that uh and melissa also made the point that when you get more muscle on your body you can eat more food which is fun around this time of year is it not? yeah you can maybe get a, a second serving in uh, another thing we wanted to mention is there are different body types and so christina is very tall with long arms melissa is a little bit shorter a little bit more compact than some of her uh, joints and so barbell training lifts can be relative to your size. So there's some advantages. Christina is a, a, a very good deadlifter for long arms, help her with that. Uh, and whereas Melissa, being a little bit more compact when she does squat, she's a wonderful squatter. The bar doesn't have quite as far to travel, uh, and so there's some advantages to being tall and some disadvantages. So you'll find some lifts that you like more than others, and that's a very very normal thing. Uh, another thing we wanted to talk about is barbell training is hard. Uh, and there are other things that you can do in the, in the gym that are easy, like walking on a treadmill. So my question to you is, is it worth doing the hard lifting, or do you really wish you were out on the treadmill just walking? No, I like, I like the variety that it gives and developing different muscle groups and doing stronger. So. And what about it being really hard? I mean, is that something that intimidates you, or do you like, you no, like the fact that it's hard? I like the challenge. Yeah, you like uh, being competitive, I think you said that? Yes. You like being competitive? Okay. And you can compete with other people when it comes to these lifts, but that's, it's kind of like golf. You don't really have to compete with the other people, you just compete with yourself, and you push yourself to beat your own personal record. So it doesn't necessarily have to be about competing with other people. I'll ask you the same question. Um, is it worth the hard effort of lifting these heavy weights, or do you secretly wish you were on the treadmill? No, it's worth it. I want muscle. Fat is, you know, chunky and muscle is nice and lean, so you look better in your clothes. So you're willing to put in the hard work with the more yes. Okay, all right. I like that answer. Um, and then also we have safety. Safety is a concern. Uh, and so when you thought about barbell training ahead of time, was safety ever a concern for you? Um, I wouldn't ever do it without a been in a class because I didn't know, you know, the, the rules and yeah, the safety uh, aspect of it was just kind of freaky for me, so. So you would have felt unsafe doing it without some guidance yes. about you? I agree. I would want someone to show me how to do it because you could injure yourself if you do it wrong. Okay. So we are making these videos available online for you to try on your own, but we also recommend that if you don't feel safe doing this, but you want to learn how to do it, that you find somebody qualified to help you with that. There's lots of good trainers uh, in the area. We have some really good trainers down here as well. Um, injuries. Have you ever been injured barbell training? Or if you have been injured barbell training, did you find that it made it impossible?
possible for you to continue training, or were you able to work through that injury? I'll start with you. I have not been injured. Um, I have had risk of injury because you tell me to straighten up my wrists, and if I don't, then that would lead to an injury. So having a trainer to guide you through that is helpful. That's a good point. So your wrists tend to bend a little bit when you do some of the lifts and you work at a desk, which is also very common nowadays, working at a desk. Uh, and so those are little things that, that um, you know, you want to pay attention to when you're doing some of these lifts. Uh, what about yourself? Have you ever been injured and had to stop training? I haven't, um, but I did come to work with you with a bad shoulder issue and you've actually fixed it. Well, that's great. We like to do that. Uh, well, that's one of the cool things about what we do down here as well. We use the NASM system. It's incorporated into our EPIC training. EPIC stands for Elite Performance Injury Prevention Circuits. And so that's one of the ways that we're able to do barbell training uh, and not get injured because we use a systematic approach. Um, the pros, the positives to barbell training. Um, confidence. Feeling stronger, I know you mentioned something about your teenagers, you like yes. knowing that you can lift more weight than men, is that right? That's right, bragging rights, and loading all the groceries in one load, awesome. Okay, and then the last thing I think we want to leave you, leave you guys with is the sets and reps and weight that you should lift starting out as a lady. Uh, again, we looked back at that first video with all the different barbells that we use, all the way down to just a wooden dowel that weighed less than a pound. Just getting a bar-like implement and practicing these lifts is the best place to start. You don't even need a heavy weight. You can just use a bar. 10 to 12 repetitions just once or twice. If you think you like it and you want to do more, then you can s slowly lift heavier weights. You can get a membership down here at Anytime Fitness. We have uh, just slightly heavier bars all the way up to the heavy bars that you can add weight on. You want to start slow. You want to start safe. You want to get the technique down. Watch these videos. Take your time. Uh, if you want to be doing somewhere around 10 to 12 repetitions, one to two sets, if you fall in love with it, you can do more. Uh, and if you fall in love with it beyond that, you can come down and get in one of our classes and uh, join us down here at Anytime Fitness.